Hey everyone, Carolyn and Janet with the Holistic Institute of Wellness. Welcome back. Hi everybody. We are excited to be sharing with you today in our five part series, The Emotional Body. And we are down to the last two segments, Jana. Yes, we are. Of our five part series. If you've it missed. Went fast. Yes, it really has gone fast. It did go quickly. And if you have missed any of our previous segments, please go to our YouTube channel and subscribe, Holistic Institute of Wellness, and you can catch up on the whole series there. So we'll be talking with you today about the, um, the emotional, emotional body. body. Mm -hmm. And then our next series in September, we'll finish it up talking about the physical body. Cool. Yeah. So um, we wanted to chat with you a little bit about the emotional body, like I said, and the emotional uh, layer or body is connected to what chakra, Jana? The sacral. Good. The yes. Second chakra. The second chakra. Yes. So the earthbound. The Yes. Um, so the second chakra is located right below the belly button. If you take like two to three of your um, two to three finger mm -hmm. uh, widths, I guess, mm -hmm. and just place it right there, that is the sacral chakra. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? Yep. And it covers abundance and reproduction and sensuality, sexuality. Mm -hmm. uh, gosh. Um, also, a lot of people hold their their self-worth or uh -huh. their value say. or yeah. confidence, things of that nature Absolutely. in that particular area. Absolutely. And obviously, especially women in particular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, if you have any of those um, energies or emotions around self-worth, self-value, this is the area in which we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And then on our diagram, this layer is the second layer out from the physical body, mm -hmm. or it's the fifth uh, layer in, because we've been working our way from the outside in mm -hmm. on this series, and this color of this layer and the chakra is orange. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it like a, a sunset, that's mm -hmm. how I always envision it, that really it's beautiful, orange. rich yeah. orange, right. right? Yeah, you say Tennessee ball orange. No, no, no. Okay. it's not that orange. Okay. <laughs> no offense to our it's ball true. fans, but it's really not that orange. It's a, it's a more of a deeper. It's, it's softer. Yeah, it's definitely. A yeah, softer, it's not more, that real bright. More pastelly. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. yeah. So you know, some things for you to just be aware of in this particular area is, um, you know, if you are um, having any type of just energies around abundance or your, you know, like we said, having any issues around self-worth, self-value, uh, confidence or all of that, um, this is where that energy is stored. And from the perspective of, you know, development, this particular area really starts to develop um, probably around the two to five your age range. So if you think about all the things that you're moving through, um, two to five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah. you know, that's a lot of, of energy and emotion that you've, you've stored up. Well, yeah. You know, I was just sitting here thinking right at five ish, we start kindergarten ish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and your our first, our first journey out into the world, right. Socializing wise, mm -hmm. right. I know there's pre K too. Um, but yes, all of that can get uh, stored in memory, mm -hmm. and the memory gets stored. Right. Absolutely. And then with the layer, you know, because we've been talking about the, <laughs> the body, when I say body or layer, I'm, I'm referring to the energetic layer around the body. And the other thing that we literally store here is our, our emotions. So for those of us that are highly sensitive or maybe identify with the empathic or just, you know, um, you know, we might just get our feelings hurt easy or perhaps we uh, store a lot of emotions or hang on to a lot of stuff. That's where all of that is stored in, in the energetic body mm -hmm. is in the emotional layer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this particular chakra that's associated with it. It's always interesting to see what's happening on a medical level, mm -hmm. and you can tie in the medical level to the emotional level. Right. Right. I personally, in my line of work, I see that a lot. Mm -hmm. I see it a lot, and there's always a 
there's always a connection. I see a tremendous amount of second chakra because I deal with a lot of moms, a lot of pregnant moms yeah. um, or moms that are, are, are brand new moms. Um, and it's interesting. There's always a tie in there somewhere. Absolutely. It's, le it's either leftover, unresolved. Yeah. Right from the from the mom herself, mm -hmm. um, or even grown grown women. Yeah, right. They you don't have to be a mom, but right. It's it's very interesting, and it makes perfect sense once you see it. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's really important, just like the mental layer that we talked about last month. It's really important to keep this layer cleared and clean. Mm -hmm. So, like we are always suggesting to you all, um, you know, your journaling practices. Um, meditation things of that nature but I tell you one of the most powerful ways to keep the emotional um, body clear is just expression mm -hmm. you know really being able to talk openly mm -hmm. and I know that's really hard for a lot of us and it really ties into the throat chakra that. and that's one of the things that I see a lot in my work Jana is if I have someone that comes in that's maybe having some challenges with their throat chakra, mm -hmm. it's typically tied to the sacral and kind of vice versa. Yeah. So these two chakras really go hand in hand together. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all about expression and just being able to really get in touch with our feelings and emotions and have enough confidence to share mm -hmm. openly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's really challenging because we get, you know, it's vulnerable to really share Absolutely. what we're truly feeling because we've got that fear of rejection mm -hmm. or maybe yeah. someone won't like us a little abandonment a little abandonment sure. yeah so it takes a lot of courage to really speak our truth and to express but that's one of the most healing ways is to really talk about your feelings and what's bothering you mm -hmm. Absolutely. What were we talking about the other day? Rage. We were talking about techniques. Oh yeah. Techniques yeah, to, I use don't to remember. just express. Yes. Yeah. Just, just to express. Yeah. That's all. Whatever yeah. feels safest to you. Right. Definitely. But find a find an avenue to express. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then of course always, as we always recommend, like get out in nature. Mm -hmm. um, Jana and I had just a lovely. A few days out in nature over the weekend, and it was mm -hmm. so clearing. Mm -hmm. um, we by were, the river. Yeah, we were near the water by the river. It was just gorgeous. And I know I came back feeling very refreshed and very clear. And that's another thing that's so amazing if you really pay attention to it is your, when you, so when you step out of the city, when you get out of all the, you know, kind of the cacophony, as you would say, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, away from your, away from your devices and you just step back mm -hmm. and you're near the water and you're connected to the earth, it's amazing how much clearer you feel. Right. Because the frequency is different. Yeah. Right. Again, there we go with frequency, but it's true. It's the frequency is different. It's completely different outside of the city because the city keeps us wired in the yeah. whole time, literally anymore. Yeah. We are literally wired in. Right. And the moment we step outside of that, it doesn't exist. Yeah. So you can hear things and you can feel things a little easier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can feel the hum of Mother Earth. Yeah. And it just kind of brings everything down because your body will respond. Yes. It will completely respond. And speaking of the hum of the Earth, the hum of the Earth has been very high yeah, the, the last few resonance. days, um, the Schumann resonance. Yeah. And normally, Jana, I think it's the, the normal vibration of the planet is about 7.6? 7 7.83-ish. Okay, okay, ish. Seven, that's right, 7.83. But that's, yeah. that's, it's changing. I mean, it's really changing. But yeah. a while back, a lot of us were told 7.83-ish, what they call hertz, yeah. uh, which is the measurement of the vibration. Yeah, is where she would normally stay at, hum at, and all that means is is her rotation. Right. And when she rotates around the sun, it um, creates a, a vibration, mm -hmm. which literally has been recorded. They can hear it. Yeah. Uh, our scientists have re recorded it. Well, I know I saw over the last um, 
probably the last several days, it's been spiking more up into 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Mm -hmm. And those are huge spikes. So just relating that into the emotional body, into the emotional layer, mm -hmm. um, that is that will cause heightened energies, heightened emotions. You know, if you're feeling on edge, if you're feeling irritable, insomnia, if, if you, mm -hmm. yes, if you can't sleep, if, mm -hmm. you know, you've got old things, memories, feelings popping up from the past, yeah. um, all of that's connected, right? <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's got an edginess to it. Yeah. Again, all you have to do is think about being in a car that's going really fast. It still mm -hmm. has a slight vibration right. to it. And it's exactly what's happening to us because our cells are literally responding to that. And they're, they got this little, little wiggle going on. <laughs> and Get it, a wiggle? They got a wiggle. And it, uh, it um, switches to us. It transfers to us. Yeah. And we can feel it. Mm -hmm. So as Jana and I always recommend and tell you, you know, just... Be in tune with yourselves. Mm -hmm. Be um, diligent with your practices. Just be doing something on a daily basis. You know, like we said, either journaling, meditating, going for walks. Um, you know, I I kind of deem this. You know, my my you know coin this phrase O L P out loud processing uh, because I. I literally will talk out loud to myself in the car. <laughs> Sometimes other places, but you know, in the car is just a great place to process because you're kind of you're in there by yourself normally. Um, there's not. That are you? <laughs> well, true. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another video, um, and you know, it just gives you an opportunity to really express and get things out. And so that's a wonderful technique that you can do, getting out in nature, just being grounded and connected to the earth and, you know, allowing yourself just to um, give yourself some grace, you mm -hmm. know, give yourself some grace for this journey and all that you're going through and experiencing. And then the other thing I would say is stay super hydrated, mm -hmm. super yeah, hydrated because your cells are constantly turning over mm -hmm. and when we go through these really big energy shifts which we are once again um, going through today especially with the yeah. spikes that yeah. we're experiencing your body gets dehydrated it sure does because it takes the it takes the fluid in the cells to create the energy yeah for the rest of our body to work but certainly on a on a cellular level right so a lot of things honestly can be prevented with proper hydration. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, keep, keep the water up. And hug a tree. And hug a tree. Go hug a tree. Yeah. Or take a walk in it with a tree. Amongst the trees. Among, take a walk with you a tree. You could walk with a tree. You I could walk with a tree. I don't care. <laughs> Go for it. All right, everybody. So we're going to uh, close our, our uh our video today by doing a little energetic card pull as we've done in the past. So I'm going to have everybody just close their eyes for a few moments. Take a nice couple of deep breaths and just center into your energy. Center into your heart space. Take a moment and just connect into your emotional body, into the sacral. Visualizing that beautiful color of orange, like the sunset. Just imagine it healthy and open and vibrant. Just clear, cleansing and letting go of any energies that are no longer serving you. And then imagine just taking your attention down to your feet feeling the ground beneath your feet and connecting in. And then bringing your attention back up to your heart space for a moment. And we're just going to set the intention for a beautiful message today for our, our listeners. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. 
So forgiveness Sweet. is the card today. Mm. Beautiful card. It's beautiful. Perfect for the emotional body. Yeah, perfect. Right? Because it's, it's the emotional body that you, those grudges will, will get stuck. And the anger will get stuck. <laughs> Opened right to so, it. Jana, you want to read that for us? Certainly will. Certainly we will. Okay. Heart Chakra, you attracted this card into your life today because it is a powerful time of forgiveness. When we hold on to grudges and wounds from the past, we can create imbalance and disharmony in our life. Over time, this can turn into resentment, anger, frustration, sickness, and depression, like rotting fruit creating a disease inside of us. You may be feeling flat and down about something that has happened in your life, and it is now time to bring the healing energy of forgiveness to this situation. True forgiveness starts with you. Take some time over the next few days to ask yourself, what am I holding on to? What requires love, attention, and forgiveness? When you have identified the issue, make sure you do what is required to surrender or expand your awareness to a place that allows for true forgiveness to occur. When you can truly forgive and let go, you can set yourself free from those stale energies and beliefs and deep healing can occur. You will feel so much lighter and happier in your world. If you have asked a question about a situation or a person, know that this is a sign for you that forgiveness is required to move forward. If you have already been working on forgiving, know that this card is a sign that you are making progress and that you should continue doing what you are doing. To find that deep place of forgiveness requires much love, understanding, compassion, and a whole lot of courage. You have all of these traits within you to draw upon at any time. The time has come for you to let go and forgive at a deeper level so you can dance in the energy of freedom. The affirmation. My heart is full of unconditional love and I forgive freely. That's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Beautiful message. Wow, well done everybody. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Awesome. <clears throat> well, thank you all so very much thank for you. being with us today and tuning in to our series. And we will be back with you next month to finish up on the physical body. Mm -hmm. Until then, be well and stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Drink your water. And drink your water. Mm. <laughs> Thank you.